Hi everyone, it's Liz Soria here, your tax advisor and business coach. Uh, today I'm gonna do a Q&A, uh, and this is a question that I'm constantly being asked, and it's, uh, you know, Liz, how do I get a small business loan when I have bad credit? Uh, while we all wish to have that perfect credit, uh, the truth is that the most, most of, you know, people do not. Uh, what we consider perfect credits, anything above almost 800, and score there's people that can go as high as at over 900. Um, I only have met once in my lifetime someone with a 900 score. I think the majority, we're lucky if we are in between the six and 700 average score of FICO, right? So what happens with business? Well, one of the things that I always recommend people, especially small business owners, whether you're starting, whether you're looking uh, to invest because perhaps you might need to hire more staff, your payroll is gonna increase, or you need to buy inventory, or perhaps you might just need to uh, you know, put capital into the business because you're expanding and you are going to need that extra funds. First thing I tell them is always look at your annual revenue, okay? And I'm actually, for those who are watching me through my YouTube channel, great, but if not, if you just listen to my podcast, that's fine. Uh, it's what I call the main principle is there's three facts and three points that you need to remember. One is your annual revenue. What do I mean by that? I mean, not uh, you know, what you're able to earn, it's what you keep. Always keep, always have that in mind, okay? So meaning that after you brought your gross sales, minus your deductions and everything else, that's really your net income. And that's what, you know, the banks are going to look at, especially the traditional regular bank accounts uh, and, and big institutions out there. Uh, that they're going to see this and they're going to say, okay, well, how much are you left in the net profit, right? Because in reality, it's not how much in sales you make, it's really what you keep at the end, okay? So to get a loan, the banks in any type of institution, even a private lender, they're going to look at that. They're going to say, well, how much are it's remaining after covering all your expenses, payroll, and everything else that you have, right? And your, your recurring monthly payments, such as your rent and utilities, right? So we want to look at the net income. So that's the first factor that you want to look at before you even try to approach a bank or like I said, a private institution or if you're coming through any kind of even credit units. But by the way, some of them are a little bit you know, more lenient in letting you borrow money because they're not that uh, strict with their guidelines, okay? I'm not saying they're all like that, but some credit units, uh, truly, they can really help you sometimes when you're a small business. So again, three factors that they want to look at. They want to look at your annual revenue. Remember, it's your net income at the end of your P&L, which is your profit and loss, okay? Second of all, they want to look at your current debt. Why? Because we need to look at what's called ratio between your assets and your debt. So if you have other existing loans, that's going to go against to any future loans that you want to obtain. Now, if you have a good payment history, that's going to help. But remember, you still owe money to another institution. So therefore, they are going to take that to account. Okay. So again, number one, having a net income at the end of every year, it's very positive, to having the lowest possible current debt that you might possibly have. Again, that could be any outstanding uh, you know, loans that you might have out there, or including, yes, your accounts payable. They wanna see how much you owe to other vendors. And third, they wanna look at your cash flow, right? Because you know, they're gonna require at least three months of your bank statements. That's just the standard. And, you know, they want to see how much activity you have. And in reality, you know, reality, can we compare between your profit and loss report, your balance sheet versus to what your bank statement says? Okay, they want to have a confirmation, support, and evidence that the numbers that you provide in your financial statements are correct based on what your bank statements are stating, right? So... Uh, one of the things, like I said, to look at that is your annual revenue, your current debt, and your cash flow. So is it possible? Yes, it is. I think that the majority and, uh, you know, the people who are in business, they're looking to get a loan. Uh, you know, a lot of times a range from 5000 I would say roughly 100 A lot of people could say up to 200 But I think up to 100 you could probably look at less than maybe 10% of APR. Um, 
if now you're looking at a, a private lender, the problem with those is they will be more lenient, yes, in letting you borrow their money, but you are going to pay a very high percentage. Um, and then on top of that, you also have a very short uh, term of loan, meaning the majority, you're going to end up paying not only maybe a 20% in, in interest rate or more, uh, but you might just have a short term of six months to 12 months to pay. And that you see a lot happening with merchant, what they call merchant cash, meaning that if you, you're shifting credit cards and a lot of times you can take an accounts receivable against that credit card merchant of uh, deposits that you're receiving. And usually the, those can run a little bit high on that. So again, there's different ways of being able to obtain a loan. But as long as you can look and review your financials, and one, make sure there's a net income. Two, your debt ratio is as low as possible. Again, meaning outstanding loans, your accounts payable. And third, you do have a cash flow money that you're, you're able to utilize and pay out without affecting your recurring expenses in a monthly basis. So now, I hope I answered that question. Uh, again, is it possible? Yes, it is. It still is possible to obtain you know, small uh, business loans. Uh, better it is, like I said, maybe going to a small credit unit or having a relationship already with your banker. It does really help a lot because a lot of times they're going to be familiar with your activities. And those are probably the ones going to be able to lend you even more money and give you better terms because that's what it comes to. But anyhow, I hope my information has been really, really helpful. And again, to your success, and I will continue my Q&A as I get questions from uh, not only my clients, but people who are, uh, you know, sending me comments uh, through my YouTube channel um, and also through my SoundCloud uh, podcast where I have a tax advisor and this Coach Success podcast. So remember to like, share, and subscribe or follow us. It really does help. And I hope this has been a good, valuable information to you. Until next time. Folks, thank you so much. And again, keep coming out your questions and uh, I'm here to help you as much as possible. Thank you so much. Take care until next time.